Hello everyone, my name is Jesse. This is the Auditorium. I react to video game music for the first time. Today is the return of Crash Bandicoot. This is such a rare series on this channel, and it is a game that I grew up with. I played one, I played two, I played three, I played Crash Team Racing, and I played Crash Bash. That was my last, pretty much the whole like Naughty Dog era, and uh, I guess Crash Bash, which was not, I, I'm pretty sure that was like Eurocom. So that was the last time I played Crash or experienced Crash. That was 24 years ago. Yeah, but you know, it. it I, I still remember Crash like to this day. I just remember going everywhere, the wacky noises, all the death animations that he had. He has like hundreds of death animations. And of course, the iconic soundtracks from Josh Mansell, like the marimbas and all this tropical stuff. This is the Wrath of Cortex. I'm not sure when this came out or what console or anything and don't know who the composer is. But we're going to be listening to Seashell Shenanigans and Crashes to Ashes from the channels Foul 59 and Rabbit OST, requested by Pepita. It's an interesting picture here with this like opacity thing. Yeah, so uh, I don't know. I, I know Crash has gone into very many different types of games, kart racers. Uh, I don't know if this is like a traditional behind the back platformer or something, but we'll see. I have not experienced any of the Crash world since the year 2000. So I think I, re I reacted to like one song from another Crash game. I think I did. Anyways, this is Crash Bandicoot The Wrath of Cortex. Seashell shenanigans. Excited. It's one of those underwater levels. Similar to that like robotic fish thing. Or it's just like an aquatic theme. It's got all those like reverb bubbles everywhere. say this but only because I grew up with the games it doesn't really sound like crash to me but that's okay there's nothing wrong with it I'll explain in a bit like and, and what I'm saying is I would never guess this is crash but that's cool that's fine this is such a specific sound when it's crash I think you guys know what I'm I've been so curious about music from Crash, like, this was a long time coming, me hearing this right here. That's what I'm talking about. I feel like, uh, the, the episode I made on Aquatic Vibes for VGM songs, that would fit perfectly in there. I mean, I'm guessing the song is called Seashell Shenanigans. Although, uh, maybe that's more of a beach. It felt a little darker than a beach to me. It actually felt like underwater. I'm directly connecting it to, in my head, to the like Crash 3 warped levels where you're underwater and it's a side scroller and you've got this robotic fish. Like that kind of dark, under the ocean kind of... That's that's what I was, I was envisioning. Now, I, I really want to like say here just how... I knew at some point I was going to revisit Crash through this channel because I haven't played the games in so long. And I and I could swear I've done another game here, but it's only been like once, so I don't even remember that one. 
But what I wanted to bring up was <clears throat> the iconic sounds that Josh Mansell like came up with. I feel like that is such a staple sound of Crash that I always wondered if it's um, if like that's just the way it's going to sound now. And then whoever composes it in the future. Uh, I don't even know if he's still a part of it, but I'm assuming like they moved on or something. It's been a long time. I always wondered, like, do they just, you know, have those shoes to fill and do their own take? Or has Crash now evolved into its own thing and just has now different sounds? And I always wondered that if it was like cursed with this having to have this tropical island marimba sound. Because I do remember in Crash Bash... I do remember how different that game felt for me because I was still, you know, I was still in the heyday of Crash. The games were coming out regularly, but I knew it was different. I knew something was off and it was like, oh, well, it's not Naughty Dog anymore. I didn't, you know, I, I didn't know the whole politics behind it and who changed this and changed that, but it felt very different. But the music, I remember, though I don't know who composed it. Oh, yeah, I, I, I do some, a little bit, not all of it, though. It still, it sounded to me like this was the beginning of... It sounds different, but it sounds like Crash. So it always made me wonder, you know, every time I saw like PS2 games, basically I played Crash until it was still on the PS1. I guess that's the best way I can put it. PS2 anywhere onwards, I didn't experience any Crash. So I was, I always wondered, do they just keep that tropical sound that we all know? That little dun, 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 that kind of melody. And this is the first time that it doesn't sound so when i say it doesn't sound like crash it's not any disrespect it's not like that doesn't sound like the crash i know not my crash you know it's just it just doesn't sound like it and that's because i have context it's so rare for me to have context but i grew up with those games you know as they were happening as the popularity was growing as seeing the commercials with the big mascot and him screaming his microphone into you know it was like a big deal crash was like the mascot of the PS1, at least to me. And uh, the games were fun. They were cool, challenging, and full of humor. And he didn't even talk. You know, he just went, whoa. Um, it always reminded me of Sonic because it was like behind the back as opposed to side scroller. So it was like, it always felt like a cult, like a, uh, how do I put this? Not anti-Sonic, but it always felt like to me like the, like they were trying to kind of emulate the Sonic thing, but in its own way, like in a very inspirational way. For example, Cortex always reminded me of, of Eggman because he's always the bad guy, never learns, and he's the one who's like talking while Sonic doesn't talk. Well, at least at the beginning he didn't talk. I don't even know if Crash talks now. I, like I said, it's been so long. Anyways, it's nice to hear though, what I'm saying though, even though it doesn't sound like Crash, it's nice to hear that they went a different way with it because who knows how long that uh, that appeal could have lasted despite how iconic it is so it's a very interesting topic for me to hear this and experience it because i've always wondered and i'm, I'm finally getting those answers you know 20 years later it's so bizarre you know this is going to be a very unique video for me because i grew up with it it's nice to hear something and first of all be like shocked by it and you know not expecting it going into this video i had a 90 percent like lean towards marimbas and the classic sound we know and then that 10 percent was like maybe it's something totally new and unexpected it was that 10 percent and it's 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 nice you know because it, it lets the composers do whatever they want they don't have to necessarily you know, stick to the formula, but I don't know, you know, I've heard enough, I've heard one song, or maybe two, I gotta, you know, while the next one plays, I'm gonna look up what other song I did, or I guess I could just do that right now instead of being lazy, but I know I've done one other Crash video, one, yeah, I only did one, that was Crash Twin Sanity, Rooftop Rampage, a year ago, do not remember that, <laughs> but yeah, so barely any Crash content in my head in the past 20 years but i i hold this series very dearly anyways we're gonna move on to the next one i'm guessing that's just a very aquatic stage is there any information on this nope no there's not oh wait hold on it was 2001 
Damn. Whoa. 2001? So that was the PS2, I think. So was this the game that like, the like, right after I stopped playing? I'll look into that during the next song. Huh, okay. Sorry, I'm talking a lot, but hey, it's not often I get something I know. This is The Wrath of Cortex, Tra or sorry, Traveler's Tales. Oh, Traveler's Tales. Is that who took over? I did not know that either. Uh, oh, this this one has some information. Uh, third boss battle. Okay, well, there's that. Uh, original composers, Andy Bly and Martin Jostra. Okay. So Josh is no longer here. So yeah, I'm already getting answers. This is Crashes to Ashes. And if I had to take a guess, a volcanic boss? <laughs> Let's go. I'm not going to say anything until the song is over. Closer to the sound I know now. It sounds like this, uh, those futuristic levels in three. But it, but that right there, that, that sounds like the futuristic levels. A couple of things. First of all, you mask. It's the first thing I noticed. Or is that Aqua? Yeah. Oh, that's so weird. Wait, what? Did I have it backwards? Oh, I had it backwards. Oh, we have a lot to discuss here. This song to me sounds like a... Uh, like an event, like a stadium, like a, like a show or something. Like monster trucks or something, I don't know how else to put it. Yeah, like it sounds like an intro for someone coming in, like... And now, introducing in this corner... Signal is so crunchy, it's just like. Is that 
just to upload? No. Does it sound like this in game? I just noticed the cowbell. Why have I just noticed the cowbell right now? So this is kind of what I was referring to as like, do they keep the formula of the prior games? Uh, this one sounded to me more like Crash. And again, that's not like I liked it better or liked it worse. I'm just speaking like as a as someone who's played the first five games. That I would recognize even if if I didn't see this image or anything. I would I would actually guess that's Crash. That sounds pretty close to Crash. You know, like very heavy melodies that are very memorable and kind of cartoony. The whole thing about Crash is that it comes off as like a slightly slightly mature cartoon maybe for like um you know you know how people rate like cartoons have ratings and stuff i would say from like 10 to i don't know i don't know what the demographic is i'm sure everybody plays these by the way but i, I wonder what the original intention was because the music to me for crash has always sounded from like someone who's like 9 to like 15 16 years old that kind of thing i guess i don't know why i feel that it's just kind of popped in my head Maybe because that's when I played them. I don't know. So a couple things went to my head. I was like, oh, is that uh, Aku Aku? And then I looked then I looked it up and I'm like, wait a minute. Aku Aku was the good one. And Uka Uka was the bad one. And then I got confused really, really hard for a second. I'm like, wait a minute. Have I had that backwards my whole life? Because to me, when I, when I hear uh, Aku Aku, I think evil. Correct me if I'm wrong, which I probably am now. But I thought Aku in Japanese means evil or devil. Or it's just a coincidence and has nothing to do with like a, a Japanese inspiration. So when I heard Aku Aku, I just thought that was the evil one. But now that's the good one. And then Uka Uka, which is obviously the backwards name. So, okay, so I guess my question is, is this a, a, another mask, a new mask, or is this Uka Uka? And then based off of this image, which looks like a straight up like <laughs> uh, developer behind the scenes render or something. This has to be uh, the boss in question. I don't see the name of the boss, but looks really cool. It looks on brand with uh, the rest of the, the crash bosses. And I'm guessing that that's an N for Neo, if I had to guess. So... I looked at um, the Wikipedia, and it's from 2001, it's PlayStation 2. So from the sounds of that, this is literally the game that would have been next for me had I kept playing, which is pretty bizarre. But let me know if anything came be between this and Crash Bash. Again, Crash Bash is the last one I played. So PlayStation 2. Uh, the reception is kind of... All over the place which is starting to kind of you know make sense because i think uh i don't know how i don't know how these games are i'm not trying to talk about them about them but i know that those first three had a like grip on the 90s and people like you know they really liked the, the style the styling of them and everything and it was kind of what made it so i, I would have to assume when they changed things up like the developers and music and whatnot that it would start to feel a little you know like other people are taking over and you know that's pretty daunting if you think about it like let's say you're working at one of these studios and all of a sudden you get some email like hey we're doing the new crash game that's pretty intense you know that's pretty intense i i don't think about that stuff when i'm a kid but now as an adult i think of that and it's like Holy crap, you know? <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, Traveler's Tales. Uh, I don't know. If, if you guys know if any of the like returning people came back, or the original people came back, let me know. It seems, it's, I don't know, it may seem like all new. That's pretty much it. So yeah, I definitely did not... This is, this is after I stopped playing, but um, at least with this song, it definitely has the... the... Um, the formula I know for Crash, which is cool. So that tells me that the soundtrack is actually pretty varied, which is, is great, you know? 
I think that's the one cool thing about video game music is that I've noticed is that no matter how bad or good a game is or where it goes, soundtracks almost never get like talked bad because music is just awesome. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, I guess there's bad soundtracks out there. I don't know. Wow, that really like stopped me in my tracks. What are what are considered like bad soundtracks? I don't know. You know what I mean? Either way, what I'm saying is like generally, especially if you're watching this channel, VGM is praised regardless of the the product that's attached to. You know what I mean? It's just funny how that works. Like you know, we could talk about everything else, but don't talk bad about the soundtrack. <laughs> like we like we baby the the music because I mean it's it's doing a lot. I don't want to get into a whole thing about video music, but it's keeping the game alive. Otherwise, it would just be sound effects and grunts and you know but uh from what i from what i heard of these two songs my first experience with the wrath of cortex it sounded good it sounded like crash and it sounded like something new and hey you know whatever was going on at the time it's a whole new console it's a whole new development team that sounds pretty intense so oh and the last thing i was going to say is uh i have a feeling that this song right here was requested based on my latest fire video that I just made for VGM Vibes 5. And since the whole talk of like fire, volcanoes, and lava came to be, maybe the requester just kind of like, it just popped in their head. That's just a guess. We'll find out when they comment. Which is funny because the last song had to do with water, so it's like we were here two elements. Anyways, cool. Let me know more about this game. Did you play it? Did you play the game as I did? Was this game cool? Maybe. Here's another thing. One thing I'm very curious on is the people who didn't experience those original games. Because games are so broad, this could have been someone's first crash. And maybe they became a huge crash fan after this. And then worked their way backwards or something. You know, I'm always curious about that. The, the other generations. Ah, <sighs> okay. Is there anything else, Crash, I'm, I'm forgetting? Because I don't get to talk about Crash. Um... The only thing I can think of is, uh, I know there's like been a resurgence lately with the remakes and stuff, so that's cool. It's nice to see Crash in HD. Um, I can't think of anything else. Great series. And uh, I grew up with it, so it's like it's very meaningful to me. But um, it's so rare that I get to talk about it that it's just... Now that I'm getting to talk about it, it's like, what do I say? <laughs> My whole life has been a lie with the whole Uka Uka thing. But it's been 20 years. 24 years, man. It's been 24 years. Someone's entire life, someone who's 24 years old right now, God, was the last time <laughs> I played Crash. Oh, that's so crazy. I don't want to think about that. Anyways, thank you, Pepita, for the memories, and uh, let me know more about these games. Thank you to all my patrons you see on the screen. I cannot be here without them. Thank you for watching. My name is Jesse. Uh, I was gonna say cowabunga, but that's the turtles. Uh, whoa!